Hi, I'm Luann Aiken with Tagawa Gardens in Centennial, Colorado, and the weather is a changing, or so they say. Some cold weather is moving in, but I still have some plants that I want to protect that would be very much frost and freeze tender. So I'm going to show you how you can protect some of your plants from the cold, and a lot of these techniques are the same whether you're protecting plants in the fall, hoping for an Indian summer, or in the spring when maybe a late frost or freeze ex is expected. So what I'm going to do is show you my favorite ways of doing it, and it's one of the best ways is a a piece of rebar. You can use a broomstick, you can use whatever works for you. So let me show you how this looks and how it works. So what I've done I've taken the rebar, I use that as kind of my tent support. You want to create something of an insulated space here to try to maintain some of the heat that is already in the soil. I water these plants because moist soil will hold a little bit more heat than dry soil. I've also used my favorite clip, which is a good old fashioned binder clip. These guys do not mess around. If you have any wind in your area, don't just lay the fabric, in this case a used sheet, over the plants, make sure you secure it. A few other things to keep in mind, you can use tomato cages if you don't wanna use a piece of rebar. I also keep landscape fabric on hand. This comes in a big roll. This is what I use for hail protection in the summer, but I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work really well for some cold protection as well. You can use bits of burlap that will create an insulated space. Be very careful with using plastic. You don't want the plastic resting on the foliage. That's going to transmit the cold. It's gonna capture a lot of moisture that really could cause problems. So if you have plastic, make sure you're creating something that sits well above the plant. I also have some other things that we can use. There are frost blankets that will hold in anywhere from four to seven degrees. Um, we sell these and they are great protection. They are lightweight, they will float. They're a nice way to go about some cold uh, protection in the spring and in the fall. But there are other ways that we can do if the plants are in the ground. So we've moved to the backyard now. I grow primarily perennials in the ground, not annuals. So we're gonna pretend this, this pretty little dianthus is an annual that I want to protect. Now, the ground is going to be our source of warmth when we're trying to capture some of that warmth and go into a colder period where we want to protect the plant. A couple of things you can do and it's super easy. If you have an empty pot, this doesn't get any easier. You kind of scoop that up, you put a rock or a brick on top and you're good to go. Make sure you take it off the next day so you're not gap capturing too much heat if the weather warms right up again. But one of my favorite little tricks a laundry basket. Any excuse not to do laundry, right? This is great because it has some air movement. If you don't want to take it off the next day, you could actually just pull the cover off. But I use this, and I could even put a little burlap around there if it was a super sensitive plant, capture a little more. Put the laundry basket on, cover it with my frost cloth, which again is going to hold a good bit of heat in. These really are quite effective put a brick on to hold it against any wind so that your work is not in vain. You have captured a good amount of heat from the ground and that's where your heat source is coming from. Come see us at Tagawa's. We are your garden store and so much more. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and find others like it on our Tagawa Gardens YouTube channel. Also find us on Facebook and Instagram.